Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. For the last few days, we've been discussing the concept of average. Here's the problem for you for today. Once I have read the problem to you, once I have read the problem to you, I want you to pause the video, solve the problem first yourself. Once you have done so, then resume the video and then, and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time and do that every single time make it a habit here's the problem what we are told here is very straightforward very simple we are told that an exam was given in the class and we are told that the average score average, average score average score for boys average score for boys was 25 we are also told that average score for girls in the exam was 35 points we are further told that there are more than twice, pay attention here, there are more than twice as many boys as girls. There are more than twice as many boys, not there are twice as many boys as girls, but there are more than twice as many boys as girls in the class. The question is very simple, very straightforward. We're given six answer choices here, and we are supposed to mark all the answer choices they apply, because the question simply is, which of the following could be the overall average and more than one answer choices are correct here in the answer choices here uh, everything that applies here we have to check mark do you understand i want you to pause the video do it yourself first i'll give you five seconds to pause and then pause the video right now let's begin first thing first first thing first i'm not going to write everything down I want you to listen to me because uh, if I keep writing everything down, it will take too long. When we have a whole bunch of numbers, for example, for example, if we have 3, 7, 5, 9, 13, and 23, let's say, what can you tell me about the average of these numbers? I don't know. There's not much we can say about the average of these, four, these numbers, but we do know that whatever the average is, average of these numbers cannot be less than, third, uh, less than 3. It has to be more than 3. The average of a whole bunch of number can never ever be lower than the lowest number. We also know that the average can never be higher than the highest number. Average of these numbers will never be more than 23. Average will never be less than 3. It's going to fall between 3 and 23, obviously. The same thing is going on here, except we don't have a whole bunch of numbers here. We have two groups of people, boys and girls. Boys and girls. We are told that the average, average for the boys is 25. Average for the boys is 25. And we are also told that the average for the girls is 35. Well, if boys on average are scoring 25 points, and girls on, score are on average are scoring 35 points, then there is no way in hell, there is no way, it is impossible for the overall average to be 24. It cannot be. So that's what just the insane answer. It's not possible. Now let's begin our work. Let's begin. Let's begin by pretending that that by pretending that there are in fact exactly twice as many boys Let's, pretending, let's, start, let's begin our work by pretending that there are in fact exactly twice as many boys as there are girls even though the problem distinctly tells us that there are more than twice as many. We are, we're going to find out, we're gonna find, we want to figure out what the average would be, what the average would have been if we had exactly twice as many boys as girls, which is very simple, very simple scenario, don't make it complicated. Don't need to do n and two times n. There is no need for that. Don't pretend that there are n girls and there are and therefore the boys are two times n. There is no need to waste your time like that. Let's just pretend there are two boys and one girl. Two boys and one girl. Boys we know on average score 25 points. So two times 25 will represent the sum of the score of these two boys. Girls we pretend there is only one girl because there are exactly twice as many boys as girls. These are boys. This, this is the only girl. Two boys and one girl. And the girl scored 35 points. How many, people, how many students do we have? We have three of them. Two boys and one girl. Exactly twice as many. Let's see what the average would be in this case. So we'll end up with uh, 2 times 25, which is, which is 50. 
plus 35 over 3. We'll end up with 85 over 3. Where can we do it, right? Let's do it here. 85 over 3. 85 over 3. How many 8 does, how many 3 does 8 have? 8 has 2. 8 has 2 3's. 2 3's are 6. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 5 becomes 25. One more time. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 5 becomes 25. 25 has 8. 8 3's. 8 3's are 24. 8 3's are 24. We still have a remaining 1 because this was a 25. So the remaining one means, is, that remaining one is being divided by 3, which means the overall average is 28 and a third. The overall average in the class would have been 28.333 if you like, or 28 and a third of a point. Now do we have twice as many boys? Do we actually have, do we actually have exactly twice as many boys? No, we do not. I'm not going to write everything down as I told you before, because this will get very annoying. You just have to use your common sense, you have to use the logic, you have to use your intuition. intuition. We have more than twice as many boys, and these boys are quite stupid. They're quite dumb. They're scoring on average 10 points less than the boys, uh, than the girls are sco scoring. So what is going to happen to average? Are they going to pull the average up, these boys? Or these bright boys are going to pull the average down? Of course they're going to pull the average down, because they're scoring so low. They're, they're, on average, they're scoring 10 points lower than a girl. So fact that they have more than twice as many boys, they're going to pull the average down, which means if we, if we did have exactly twice as many, the average would have been 28.28 and a third, but in reality, average is going to be less than this amount. In reality, the average is going to be less than 28 and a third, which means 30 is impossible, 32 is impossible, 32, 34 is possible, impossible. The question was very simple. Which of the following could be the overall average? And I did tell you that there are more than one answer choices. 26 is possible and 28 is possible. So there are several conditions here that the average has to meet. First of all, we know that the average cannot be less than 25. We also know the average cannot be more than 35. Now we know that the overall average has to be less than 28 and a third. Average, overall average has to be less than 28 and a third because 28 and a third would have been the average if we did have in fact exactly twice as many boys. That's it, we are done. Answer is B and C. The answer is B and C. Let's move on then. I'm going to give you now, I'm going to give you now a problem for homework which we'll do tomorrow. Here's the problem. I'm going to get out of your way first. Before I erase everything, I'll give you unobstructed view first. Okay, here's the new problem. What exactly, what exactly needs to be what exactly needs to be the ratio of boys to girls if the overall average if the overall average is exactly it's a two part question it's a two part question exactly a 26 and b 28 we just claim we just claim that the overall average could be well, not 26 and 28 rather, sorry, well, I erased everything, didn't I? It can be 26, it has to be more than 28 and a third. What were the answer choices? Lost it, lost it. 26 and 28. Oh, sorry, overall average, overall average is going to be less than 28 and a third, sorry. It's got, to, it's got to be less than 28 and a third, and therefore it could be 26 and 28, I was correct. Overall average could be 26, overall average could be 28. The question is very straightforward. What exactly needs to be the ratio of boys to girls in this class in, so that the overall average turns out to be exactly 26 points? And the same exact question for exactly 28. We'll do that tomorrow, okay? I want you to try it on your own before you watch the next video, day number 73. Do the problem ahead of time and we'll go from there. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.